you bagged your deer, now it's time to cut it up. Make those roasts, those steaks, and maybe some jerky. You can use good cuts of meat for the jerky as well. Here I have a roast, a commercial slicer. Uh, they have really come down in price and they are quite affordable now for home use. Of course, the blades are sharp. You want to be careful, but you get the idea on the thickness of that meat and it is nice and thin. It's just over an eighth inch thick. Then you put it in the marinade. Here is the recipe for the marinade. You want to use cucumin soy sauce. Three cups of cucumin, plenty of salt in that cucumin, so you don't need to add salt to this recipe. Worcestershire sauce. You want to use about five tablespoons of that. I prefer Lee and Parents. Then three tablespoons of Tabasco sauce. If you don't like it hot, you may want to use a little less of the Tabasco in your recipe. Then two tablespoons of reconstituted lemon juice. It's somewhat of a preservative. And then one teaspoon of liquid smoke. You can use a little less, maybe about half a teaspoon, but it is very strong, powerful stuff. Then you want to use minced garlic. You can use, well, up to a quarter of a cup of dehydrated onions first. Uh, the minced garlic, I guess it says here two tablespoons. I'm going to use about one tablespoon. This is garlic grown in the garden and it is a lot more powerful. Okay, back to the onions. The dehydrated onions, you pour those on top of the entire liquid and we already mentioned that uh, we're talking about a quarter cup and then about a quarter cup of crushed red peppers. And I just cover that liquid on top before I put all the sliced jerky in. And of course, there are the dehydrated onions. To finish it up on the dehydrator, and it is coarse black pepper. They're also, they also call it restaurant style pepper. And black pepper, you put it on each and every slice and quite a bit of it. And then you put your next layer on your dehydrator and so forth. A lot of dehydrators out there. There's different hours and settings on this. I will go six to eight hours at about 150 degrees. You want to take the bottom row, it will be done first, put it on top, depending on how many rows that you have, and make sure that, of course, it is nice and pliable. You don't want it too dry or too crisp. So there's a great recipe for you to use, and that is Kent's Venison Jerky, and of course, the uh, recipe up on your screen. Also on your screen are conservation banquets and all the pictures that you sent in this week.
that's our show for this week. Remember to subscribe to Kent Fountain Outdoors on YouTube. Support our sponsor, Top Game Industries. And remember to keep sending those pictures my way. Kent Fountain 2023 at gmail.com. Remember also, take a young person hunting or fishing. And don't forget us older folks either. Oh,